All right, so after having this for a little while, let's now finally do the review. This is my Guide Gear wood stove. This is like a stove made for a tent. I bought it because it was inexpensive. Figured I can mod some different things and get it to work. Uh, my building has uh, exhaust on either end, and the door's open right now. But uh, so here's the good and bad of the Guide Gear wood stove. So let's go with the bad first. So how they designed the um, the piping here. If you notice, this pipe comes down and then expands here, and then this joint slides into it. Same thing. This expands here. So this is actually upside down from how wood stove would sh should be. So the expansion should be this way. <laughs> so it would be on the top so that uh, when creosol burns in here, what happens now, you can see it on the piping. Uh, before I sealed this really well, which I'll show you how I did that. Um, basically, it would get built up in here, liquefy, and then come out on the outside of the pipe, heat up, and then smoke, <laughs> which sucks. But it's not like, you know, there's there's always ways around things. So for a wood stove that is isn't as expensive as it was, it's okay. It's not the best. For the money I put in this, you, I could have bought something better. But, you know, it's whatever. I'm going to end up getting a bigger wood stove later. Um, it does work really well. Um, so I ended up having to seal this. And uh, let me show you what I used to seal it really quick which is this, it basically is an 800 Fahrenheit uh, flex sealant that you can get off Amazon. I'll put the link below uh, along with uh, the extra pipe that I bought. So this works really good. Um, now some of my mods that I did after I sealed this was this actually goes out. <laughs> so I have a bend here, which is like, you can't buy this pipe. It's like specialized sizing. So what I ended up doing is this is a three and a half inch piece of uh, exhaust pipe for 18 wheeler. So I bought this U or whatever elbow, and then I bought another elbow and then I bought two extra pipes like this for this wood stove. And I had this welded together. So this elbow is welded here and outside there's another elbow. So it's just one piece. It's basically like an S or a two or whatever. It goes like this in. So, you know, um, this actually works really good, but I would, when I take it back apart, I'm gonna have somebody weld it here and weld it here. So this is one piece. So when I seal it, I only have to seal here and I have to seal down here on the actual stove. It'll make it work better. And then the same thing on the outside, I'm gonna have them uh, seal so that I only have to seal one area. I'm just gonna have them weld everything together. And that way it'll be easier to clean. I don't have to freaking deal with anything. I can just take it apart, you know, clean the creosol out. And then I don't have to worry about all this running down. Other than that, this thing works pretty good. It's not fantastic, but for a wood stove, um, it's functional. It is, for the money, it's totally functional. And uh, if you were to run it straight through the ceiling, I can't because I have metal ceilings and I didn't want to uh, poke a hole through that um, because I'm going to end up insulating all this. So I went out the wall using this nipple here. And I'll put this nipple below and I'll put the elbows too if, if you want to build something like this. It's definitely cool. Now I've seen people actually like weld on a larger ring to this and use like regular standard, like I think it was like six inch pipe or something like that. And I'm sure it works better than this, but this is what I did. It works, it's functional. And uh, I'm not really worried about it. It's, it's, it does what I needed to do. I definitely would say uh, for a cheap wood stove, it's not bad. You're just gonna have to do a lot of like work to it to get it really, you know, good. So, Eh, if I could go back, I would probably buy a different stove. But since I already bought this, it works for what I need it for. It heats this. This is a 20-foot dry box. Not really worried about it. 
All right, well, you guys take it easy. Peace.